Joseph Bartlett, born 16th of November 1766, and his wife Susanna Hayward were both from Latton in Wiltshire. They had a son John, born 24th of May 1807. John lived at Seven Gostich, which is the area shown here. John is buried in Latton Churchyard. His gravestone says he died in 1881, aged 73 years. Four of his five children were born in Latin, but Joseph in our line was born in Icy, and his son, also called Joseph, was from Cerny Wick, both of which we will return to later. Three generations on, and the Bartlett's are back in Latin, with Bert, Jeff and Morris all born there. Here is Bert standing in front of Latin Church in 1989, when his son John took him back there. Bert once told of playing tricks on some of the villagers. A favourite was to leave a parcel on a doorstep attached to a long length of string, then knock on the door and run and hide behind a hedge, and then tug the parcel away just as the victim was about to pick it up. This is the old schoolhouse where many of the Bartlett's, including Bert, went to school. It's next to the church. The house where Bert lived in Croft Lane is the second house along from the old schoolhouse. It has been modernised and extended into quite a luxury home now, but in Bert's day it was a modest cottage. This is Latin Church. Bert and his brothers were all members of the church choir, and he and his father were also bell ringers at the church. Bert was not a strong baby and his parents told him that straw was laid in the road to muffle the sound of horses and carts so he would not be disturbed. There was some concern over whether he would survive, but he lived to the age of 87, outliving his younger brothers. He started his working life at Geoffrey's Nursery Garden in Sirencester. He also used to work at weekends as a waiter at Viner's Restaurant near Sirencester Church. Later he went to work for the Honourable Guy Wilson in Grosvenor Place, London, as a footman. They were quite a wealthy family, and he spoke of Guy's mother having footmen wearing powdered wigs. Every year the family went to their other residence, Scar House in Langthwaite, Arkengarthdale in North Yorkshire, for the shooting season, and Bert loved going there. He used to go to dances in the village school, and spoke of dancing with the school teacher, the prettiest girl in the dale. Later he worked at Homesdale, a large house at Nutfield, Surrey, which was owned by the McAlpine civil engineering family. He became friendly with one of the housemaids, and when the lady of the house found out, the girl was sacked, so Bert left too in protest. He then went to work at the sand pits in Bleshingley. He lodged at a house in Victoria Road, Red Hill, and it was at this time that he met his future wife, Leonie Earl. Her father was the foreman at the sand pits and she also had a cousin in Victoria Road who she was friendly with. After the war, Bert joined the East Surrey Water Company in Red Hill. In 1945, his mother was taken ill, and his wife Leone went to South Cerny to look after her. After his mother died, Leone decided to stay at South Cerny, and this was the start of their separation. They were eventually divorced in 1964. After leaving the water company, Bert was a general handyman and boilerman at St Anne's Red Hill, an old people's home. Mary, his second wife, was a cook there, and this was how they met. They married in 1964, and they were happily married for 20 years until Mary's death on Bert's birthday in 1984. Mary came from Consett in County Durham, and was the widow of a coal miner. She was a lovely jolly lady who really enjoyed being part of the family. One of the big events in Bert's life was in 1972, when he and Mary went to Canada to visit his brother Jeff at La Coombe near Calgary. Jeff had gone to Canada in about 1920 when he was 14. He left a note one day telling his mother he had gone. He went on to own a large farm and met his wife Clara 
who was a school teacher. They had two children, Ron and Bernice. Bert and Jeff did not see each other again until 1953 when Jeff paid his first visit back to England. This is the letter card Jeff sent from the ship, SS Empress of France. It reads, Dear Herbert, your letter was waiting for me in the cabin when I came aboard ship. Was travelling four days on the train and we sail tonight. Do not bother about meeting me at Victoria, I might miss you, but I will wire you and meet you at Red Hill. Looking forward to seeing you. Love to all. Jeff. There were several more family visits between England and Canada. Joseph Morris Bartlett lived in the family bungalow in South Cerny. His mother Louisa had left it to him, and when she died, he evicted his father. His sister-in-law, Leonie, who went to South Cerny to look after Louisa, stayed with Morris, and they had a son, Tim, born 1951. Tim eventually evicted Morris from the bungalow.